Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk a little bit about why a beam antenna compared to a normal ground plane vertical appears to have more apparent power. It doesn't mean that your radio is putting out more power. It just means that the signal strength of that radio beam is stronger because it's been directed in that direction. And this is what a ground plane, an omnidirectional vertical looks like. And you'll notice it's not a perfect circle because it's affected by some environments, but it's going equally out in all areas. And this is sort of kind of what it looks like in 3D. So that's where your energy is kind of going and that's where it's going to be hitting at. You can see where there would be a null right on top of it or behind a bottom of it so anyway stay tuned while we talk a little bit more now about why beams work like they do we'd like to ask that you please subscribe hit the like button and the notify to stay current with our content thank you now a beam antenna works from the simplest of a two element beam to a simple three element beam works by directing the energy to go in a certain direction and the more beams you and the more uh, directors you add to it making a bigger element beam the more it tends to direct the energy to go in that direction now not only are you massaging the field of that energy but you're not making more of it but you're kind of pushing it where you want it to go now you're not making more of it you have the same amount you're just directing where that energy points here are some specs on a element beam and this particular one has six elements but what we're interested in is the forward gang the dbi and this is 10.5 compared to a normal vertical quarter wave now when you go from six elements to 31 elements look at the uh, average gain 19.8 db over that that's quite a pump that means if you put 10 watts into that antenna you'd get the effect of it would seem like it would had 780 watts on a vertical but it's only in that one direction and here's the pattern it goes back it also works on received the same way but it affects the pattern of where the energy goes and as you can see in a six element beam you have a lot of side lobes but when you add more and more directors you get a more directed beam and as you you can see there it's pointing more in one direction now here's another way of thinking about that imagine an antenna a, a ground plane a vertical take a handful of sand turn in a circle and throw it out equally in all directions now take a beam take that same handful of sand and throw it in one direction that's why you kind of get that pattern in the beam like that because you're directing all that energy in a specific area so it's that sacrifice means you're not going to be transmitting on the side. You're not going to be transmitting much out of the back. It's all going in one direction. And the same applies to receive. It's going to hear better in one direction and it's not going to hear in others. So again, it's you're not increasing the amount of power. You're just directing where it goes. It's the same amount of energy. It's just where it's being directed. So we hope you found this explanation of the beam pattern useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a fun day hamming it up, guys.